Hello and welcome to your Blender video tutorial number 17 and in this tutorial we'll be teaching uh, you how to construct the camera to follow an object and how to get an object to follow a path. Alright, to start out with we're going just to delete this default cube and zoom in a little bit and add spacebar with uh, curve and bizarre curve. So add curve, bizarre curve. Okay, and down here in your 3D are, are your edit buttons hit the uh, 3D button as before and we'll get the lines okay let's extrude this out a little bit I'm gonna extrude it out just bring this down, bring this one up let's get it uh, going around a little bit okay you can uh, grab the handles there's a, co uh, a couple ways you can grab it in the center it grabs the entire thing you can grab the handles and rotate it Okay, you grab the handles and you pull it out longer. It kind of constrains the track to follow it too. And when you're using this, say you have um top view extrude out. Let's make this kind of a circular motion here. Okay, you can select these uh, three by the middles and hit the T key, the T key, and it'll tilt the arrows. Okay, so see the arrows just tilting. This will make the the object kind of tilt inward as it goes around. Okay, so now we got this built uh, built up a little bit. Let's go to object mode, and we're gonna add. I'm gonna scale that up a little bit though. And center new the cursor. I'm gonna add mesh uh, UV sphere. Alright, I'm going to set to smooth and add subsurf. Alright. To get this uh, cube, or the cylinder, geez, to get this sphere to follow uh, this path, all I have to do is select the uh, sphere and then shift select the line. Okay, so select this, shift select the line with the right click. Okay, hit control P and it says make parent don't do normal parent just hit follow path and you'll see a line connects this to the beginning of the, the path okay so it's it's not that inaccurate but uh, to, you kinda wanna make this go to the beginning or else you're gonna get this effect it's gonna have the line and the distance so what we're gonna wanna do is select the sphere and hit alt P or not alt P Alt O and then clear origin. So now the center of that sphere starts on the very tip of that. Okay. Uh, you can change the speed of this line by coming down here where it says path length. Set this value up a few. I'm going to do a dramatic effect so that you can kind of see the idea. So hit Alt A and now we can see it's very, very slow. Set it to 1. And it starts at the very, very end because the speed is one. So when you're on frame one, speed is one. It jumps to here. Set this back up to about 100. 100 is default. Alt A. There it goes along the line. Okay. Now for the last step, we want this camera just to stay here but we want it to follow this uh, we want it to rotate along with the sphere as it goes along here so what you need to do is shift or uh, select the camera shift select the sphere or the object that you want the camera to track and hit alt T or uh, excuse me select the camera shift select the sphere and control T it says track to constraint and we select this one we got a blue dotted line and wherever this goes, the camera will follow. So, the camera view, Alt A, and there we have it. Okay. Uh, you can play around with these settings a little more, and uh, just don't forget. Uh, don't forget that you can actually get a like a light or a camera to follow this path. Okay. You want this to follow this? All you have to do, same thing follow path 
Alt A. Got a very weird motion. So we have the camera following the path, and this following the path, and the camera's looking at this. So it's a lot going on. You can also get uh, lights to follow the path. Just select the light, shift select the line, control P, follow path, and Alt A. Uh, one useful thing that you would need a camera to follow a path for is if, say, uh, uh, well, you need, like, uh, you have an object going through, uh, space or something, and you need it in the, uh, say there's a ship that was coming along here, and you need a light to kind of follow behind it, and the ship is going along a line, all you have to do is just parent that, that light to that line also, and it'll follow along with it. Uh, experience in Blender kind of gives you ideas like that so hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial and thought it was useful uh, and just a note if you're requesting a tutorial you can just PM me or comment and I'll see if I can't get uh, your tutorial up